All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Glad you're here. Today we've got a 1v1 stroke play match, Joe and I. If you don't remember the last time I uh, came out on top, Joe's feeling much more confident in his game and he wants a shot at the title. We're playing for the title of Top Dog on the Channel. <laughs> top <laughs> to Dog on the Channel, baby. I haven't been Top Dog in a long time, you know. Last time I really wanted that, another chance at a crack here, so it's time to come back. Been playing better, having good vibes, and I'm coming for your, for your ass, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut that out. So since I won the first match, I'll be teeing off first. I'm playing the tips out here, front nine at Old Capital Golf Club. Enjoy the ride. Scratch what I said, I guess Joe's taking the tee. Trying to show a sign of dominance here. <laughs> Showing a sign of dominance early. I just want you to know that this, you'll never have the tee today. <laughs> okay, buddy. That's, that was it. Uh, that was the sign of dominance right there. That's going to be pretty good. Yeah, that was right at the green, I think. You want Chuck? Yeah, she it, baby. All right. Nothing like a toe draw down the middle to start the day. <laughs> Served it up, McBucket's way, and we're off. All right, we got 83 to the pin, 77 to the front, according to Caddy Joe. <laughs> we're just gonna try and drop one on the front of the green and give myself a look at Bert. I think that kind of rolled off the back. The screen's impossible to hold when it's dry. All right, we got 55 yards of the green here, 45 at the front. Uh, looks like Steve put himself to about 50 feet. <laughs> we'll try to get it within that, maybe have an opportunity here to take an early lead. It's a tough ask. I don't know if you can get it inside 50 feet. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yanked it. Over the green? Yeah, I got it within 100 feet. I think you're outside of the 50 exactly feet. That's what I said I was gonna do. Just got a little, little thin there, seemed like, a little blade. Unfortunate play by the young man, but I did get inside Steve there, so feeling pretty good about it, except he has a putt and I have a chip, so. Hmm. Roll out. Eh, not bad. Joseph wasn't lying, this is every bit of 50 feet, if not more. Breaking right to left, gotta put it in there tight. Go in. Okay. Well, I just kinda died, but I think mission accomplished. <laughs> Joe, I forgot, what do they need to do? As always, like, subscribe! Oh my gosh, you got a nice, easy ankle breaking putt there. What a putt. Hey, hey. Great par. For the people, for the people, and for the troops. More importantly, you avoided uh, losing the tee to me on the next hole. <laughs> In fact, I'm about to take a one stroke lead. No. <laughs> like this video if Steve misses this three footer. I kinda wanna miss it on purpose now. <laughs> Never a doubt. <laughs> All right, that's a push on the first hole. We're both even par. Moving on to the next hole, par three. We'll see you there. Secure the bag, secure the tee. Hole number two, par three, downhill, 182 yards, pins in the middle. We're just trying to find the green out there, baby. Let's go. It's a good looking ball. Oh yeah. That's like 10 feet for birdie. Come on, baby, it's for the short people out here. Joey Nukes came to play. <laughs> Told you, I went to the laboratory, worked on my game, Steve. Wow. Where's this laboratory you speak of? Uh, Dexter's. I gotta try to match that. Go a little left. Good right. Hard. All right. Got a putt. Two balls on the green. Putting contest. Place your bets now. Easy putt for the champ. I, I think this has to go. Making that. At all. On the 
king of leaving myself four footers. <laughs> All right, let's hope Joe gets a little uh, antsy on this putt. Oh, a little pool job. You want to go good, good? No. <laughs> Good three. Uh, unfortunate. All right, make this a stay tied. See the trick? Is hit it hard enough to where it don't break it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Phil Mickelson routine, isn't it? He's making millions, bro, on the LIV. Yeah. You know what, Liv, hit me up. <laughs> I'll play for, I don't know, 100K? <laughs> I'll be the cheapest option you got. <laughs> We've reached the third hole and Joe still has not relinquished the tee. I know, dude, that's unreal. But, unfortunate putt back there. Par, probably should have been birdie. All square through two. Hole number three, par four, 387 yards from the tips. Looks like we got some construction out there and they're gonna need a bulldozer after this thing lands. <laughs> Deer! Deer. Saddle. Saddle. Hopefully it, I saw it down short of the trees up there. Thank goodness I hit that like poop. <laughs> oh man, off the toe. Can you capitalize? Door is open. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. Come on now. Stripe show. All right. Don't you love it when a plan comes together, Joe? Not for you. <laughs> 118 yards, saved by the graces of God out here. Did not go into the hazard, hit it so crappy it was good. <laughs> or, okay. 118 to the pin, try to get one on the green here, put some pressure on Steve. Heading left, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is. All right. On the green, it's all we want it, baby. Let's yeah. go! Get another crack at a 75-yard uh, shot. See if I can do a little better on this one. Hey, I'm just a little bit strong on those for right now. I don't really know why, <laughs> but I'll take it. Take me into the mind of Joey Nukes right now. My mindset right now is that I'm gonna hit this ball as hard as I can to give it an opportunity to go in the hole. You know, we're not quitters out here and we don't lay up. Laying up is for basketball. As I say that, I don't want to blow this eight feet back. <laughs> not bad. I think it's about eight feet by. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it, okay? What you got here, Steve? About a 18 footer here for birdie? Yeah, the door is in fact open. Oh, I pushed it. Pushed it. Came off the toe of the putter. Alright, All right, that's a clean up for a four. Joe makes it to uh, stay tied. <laughs> hmm. Just slid past. I reckon I could give that to you. No oh, man. Just knock it in. All right, good putt. All right, well, Steve finally took the tee box from me. Another miscalculated putt by Joey Nukes. We gotta get things together. Hitting the ball well, just not putting worth a dang, you know? Going to number four, tough to hole from the tees. I wanna say it's like 436 yards from the tips. Water all the way up and down the right side. And man, are we doing things out here. If you look at the background, we are getting things done. <laughs> Just not me on the course. Hi, Steven! Hey. Local celebrities out here, man. All right, whose ball is this? Somebody on eight. You about got smacked with it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Sorry about those kids. <laughs> we interrupted your regularly scheduled program to deal with some children out here. <laughs> Longest par four on the course from back here. I'm one up. See if we can keep it rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> That's one. Should be right up that left side. Yeah. 
Oh, I kicked left off the hill. Hey, it's not in the water. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, little hooky. I've seen you get out of worse. <laughs> no bueno. All right, give us give us a situation report over here. Well, I hooked it to California, and now I got to get back to the Midwest. 224 yards, playing it down's tough, you know, in the rough. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, that could be great. That's going right at the flag. I know you guys can't see it on camera, but that's going right at the flag. What's the verdict? I don't know, I can't see it. We're either really good or really bad, or somewhere in between. Okay, so as things turned out, Joe made it up on the green. How far out were you? 224. 224 with the three iron, blind shot. This guy pulls it off. <laughs> hey, it's never a dull day in Joey's world, you know? <laughs> we got 146, I'm hitting wedge. Hope to God I can get it inside Joe's three iron. 146 is pretty deep for a pitching wedge. That's pretty limb. Literally. I have no idea where you went. It's on the green. Uh oh. Actually, it's over the green. <laughs> 146 is deep for a pitching wedge. No, let's talk about that for a second. I went over the green with a wedge. You're telling me to club up. Like, how am I supposed to trust you after this video? You don't? You're a terrible friend. <laughs> or am I the best kind? No. <laughs> we have a battalion of invasive species over here. I mean, these Canadian geese. Will Do not, not touch my ball. They Thanks. knew we were coming. Like, Look at this. They've probably been sitting here for six hours, and as soon as we get to the green, they decide to walk across it. This is ridiculous. Just wait, there's going to be a line of geese poop all the way across it. You can't even see my ball right now. There's so many of them. Yeah, dude, there was oh, one. Oh, no. <laughs> On camera, bro. The geese whisper. Gone. Shit. Do not hit it. <laughs> They're scared of the ball. That was awful. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> How do you feel now? Well, I don't know. I feel like the lie had a lot to do with that. <laughs> but I'm not trying to make any excuses out here. I think I'm out. <laughs> Hold on, let me remove the hazard. <laughs> No, no, not the white shoes. Have you noticed I hate these animals? <laughs> oh my god. Thought I had it. Alright, that's a five. Oh, ugly hole. That is not how I thought this would turn out. <laughs> oh no. Oh Stop no. It. Come on! Oh no. For the people. Two shot swing. Let's go, dude. Back to even. One up on Steve, going into hole five. Give me that T box. Hole number five, 375, up the hill, par four. Man, it feels good. When you're riding that adrenaline, baby, you're like on a rocket. You just won't want to stop. You just want to boom. You just want to go, you know? What a shot. This guy, he's just kicking it into gear. He just finds it. He's gonna drive the green. That's a very good shot. I'm gonna weather this storm. <laughs> They're gonna try not to let that last hole get to me. And I'm not gonna let this dude flex on me any longer. <laughs> he's good. Don't let him get hot. That's when he gets dangerous. <laughs> That's the only time he gets dangerous. <laughs> oh no. You know, I was thinking, Steve. What? I know why we're best friends and we work well so together. Why? Why we work so well together. Sorry, why? we're not smart. Fire and ice, baby. Fire and ice. That's right. You cool me off. I heat you up. I think we're more like water and oil. No, yin and yang. Hello, darkness, Steve's old friend. He will love geese to the end. Right. Calling for a punch shot here. I have roughly 15 geese in front of the green. One of them's probably going to get hit. If you hit a goose, though, it's in play, right? 
two things are gonna happen. <laughs> One, I get on the green. Two, I hit a goose, PETA gets called. <laughs> PETA! Yeah. Alright, work. Come on. That's actually not bad. Wow. That's not bad at all. Right. No geese were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> yes, 45 yards to the pin. That means I just hit that bomb 330 yards. Geese are all in my flight zone right now. Got a tasty lie here. Looks like it's just the world's trying to get back at me, but I'm not gonna let it get me down. That could work out. Settle. Ooh. Settle. So deep, baby. I gotta start rolling the rock. Great speed control down that hill. Mark it and park it, bro. Parked it. <laughs> Oof. Wow, a little bit of meat left. All right, good par. Knee knocker. Good putt. Thanks. In all honesty, though, I was thinking about it with the bucket hat. What? You must be best friends with Plankton since you work at the Chum Bucket. Oh my goodness, dude. The terrible jokes are just at an all-time high today. So is your game. Leave us a comment. What's the best, worst joke you know? <laughs> and maybe Joe will use it in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, par five, 528 yards up the hill. Gotta go kind of down through a valley and then go up, you know, to grandmother's house we go. Gotta keep the streak going, even par through five, Steve's one over. We're gonna keep it that way. A little bit left, should be good though. In the rough? Oh, barely in the rough. Just oh, yeah. barely. Wow. Okay, here we go. That'll work. If we put a string down the middle of the fairway, yeah. I think you would hit it. That's what happens when I don't hit it on the toe. <laughs> Fun fact, if you hit it in the center of the face, it's normally a better shot. <laughs> we got a 2007 gas price here. 239 of the hole. Dude, those were the days. <laughs> Just gonna try to hit a smooth one up there. Got to make a birdie, man. Too many par. And a bogey. <laughs> oh God, I almost stopped it. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, it's not bad. Don't you love it when a plan works out, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> that almost missed, honestly. <laughs> that was bad, but it works. 214, gotta catch a little bit of a fly here, four iron up the hill, probably playing about a 220. Feeling saucy. Heading left, might catch a catch piece. Thing. Catch piece. Whoa, oh. what kind of kick was that? How did you manage to make it kick right? You just hooked it. I don't know. Hey! Dude, these Mr. kids. Mr. Buckets, who you like? Yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby. The universe is back. Congratulations, you got the Teletubbies as a fan club, bro. <laughs> I mean, what'd you expect, dude? I look like I belong on a PBS channel. <laughs> This is great. About 18 feet up the hill. Had a couple of those today. <laughs> Sit. It's pretty good. Okay. Not bad. Got to dodge a bullet here. Oh my. Dude's ice cold right now. What a putt. Cold as ice. 
You gotta sacrifice the top dog. Clean up for par, brother. You got this. You know, you're awfully friendly after you've guaranteed at least a two shot lead. <laughs> but. Okay. All right, well, I'm two down with three to go. I gotta take this guy down off of his pedestal he's sitting on right now. Come on, dude, I'm already short. He's a short guy and he's feeling way too tall right now. <laughs> Number seven here, par three, one of the toughest holes in the course. 182 yards to the pin. Gotta put the foot on the gas now, boys. Oh, that looks pretty good. Go left. It just stuck there. Excellent shot, though. I got you. Hit him well. Looks good. Roll left. Oh my god! Why am I so strong? <laughs> I have probably the most difficult chip on the course right now. Are you in shambles right now? Or? No, I mean, I put an excellent swing on it. Too much club. There's no excuse for that. I've played this course a million times. Should know. Break. I'll hit that one later. Ow. Wow. Wow. That is quick. I thought I had a chance to make that, and I ended up... I mean, it had every chance to make it. You missed it on the high side, and then it ends up 10 feet out. Was that a four? Yeah, a little three putt action. All right, I gotta make this to only lose one shot on this hole. It's actually not bad, dude. Circa. <laughs> I promise that was first take. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's a double for me, a bogey for Joe. Puts me at three over. Joe, what are you back to even? Yeah. All right, I gotta make up three shots. I got a par five and a par four left. It's about to get real saucy. Oh man, didn't check the yardage on this hole. Hole eight, par five, I'm gonna guess 487. Uh, down the hill, here we go, across the pond. Three strokes up, the tools to go. Most would say don't lose it, but I'm gonna go out there to win. Oh shoot. Oh my. It's a little bit, right? It's not gonna kill you. No! Be better than me, Steve. That's the plan. <laughs> Golf is fun, Lois. We're gonna go hit it again. <laughs> Where'd it go, Steve? Uh, what? So, by definition, just because I said saucy does not mean I said good. <laughs> Under a tree, I had to hit a punch shot here just try to get it back out in the fairway. I think I'm gonna go four iron. Go. Go. All right, it's in the flat part, so be it. Wow. Wow. Six iron? You're going six iron through the trees? For the channel? That's not the play. I see a hole. Let it be known right now, as your opponent, I'm telling you that's not the play. But it's for the channel. You can do whatever you want. Just let it be known. I am advising against this. Okay. Oh my God, dude. 90% air. Oh, yeah. I mean, what's gonna happen? I don't see it. <gasps> Did that go in the water? Barely, it almost cleared. <laughs> it almost cleared. What, I mean, that was just never a good idea, but... <laughs> <laughs> Got 160 yards hit, With the way you've been hitting, dude, it's a 9-iron. I'm pulling 9. 
if this goes short, then I, I have no idea what golf is anymore. I, I, It's long. What? How is that long? <laughs> I don't know. I could have hit eight and it would have gone in the exact same place, I feel like. I just don't understand. I'm not over sweet. Am I? Have I never made good contact before and like this is what's happening now? Just gained 10 yards out of nowhere? I'm guessing 40 yards, something like that. Get it on the green, knock a putt in. You know, that's all I gotta do here. Poof, come on. Get in the water. Oh no. Joseph. <laughs> no. Comment. Give me something. Uh, what just happened? I think I just gave the batch away on one hole because no I did way. a lot of dumb, idiotic things. I feel like an up and down now is more important than ever. Great shot, dude. Thank you. shot there you go that's how you get back into it man what is that for eight yeah <laughs> after i make this and you make yours we're tied oh my like God. it should be <laughs> for the channel <laughs> for the channel wow wow if any of you guys are wondering this is why i never made it on tour because of dumb stuff like that <laughs> And I'm not very good. <laughs> For the tie, Steve. <laughs> All right, guys. Like the video. This may not be the ending you wanted, but it's the ending you're gonna get. We're both three over, going into the last hole. Long par four. Anything can happen. Let's get it on. <laughs> the tee is yours, good right. sire. Ladies and gents, finally got the tee back on the ninth hole. We try to put him away here on my own and not by him making a dumb decision like the last hole. <laughs> I don't have a single birdie to my name today. This would be a great time to start. Okay, excellent start. Let's go. Good shot. I don't think that'll make it to it. Yeah, you're fine. Short of it on the upslope. 125 up the hill. See where the world takes us, you know. Oh, shite. I think it's on. I got a club up. Or down, I mean. <laughs> Everything's been long today. Why not club down? 56 degree, 113. Dropping a club. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'm choosing not to complain. Oh, saddle. Hit it. Hit it. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh. I got lucky. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that was almost like you would have you would have won if that got in. Wow. Dodge. He had another bullet there. Good, good on the extra. I don't know if I can give you that. Right. Good par. Cleaned up. Three over par. Joe's got to make this stay in it. Oh my god, I can't believe we're in this position. It was his match to win. Great putt. Great putt. 
He stays in it. I blew it just to win it, boys. Let's go. Extra blew, holes. Blew it just to win it. Extra, extra. Read all about it, Steve. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Extra holes, as we said, we're tied both three over. If you made it to this point in the video, we highly appreciate it. Remember to sub, leave a like, and leave a comment. Who do you think is going to come out on top here? Bonus points if you vote me. Hole number 10, tough tee shot. I got hybrid. It's all on the line now. Sudden death. No. How are we looking? It's going to be a long way in, but it should just be in the left rough. You're on the same line as me, but quite a bit further. The shore of the bucket. Yeah. All right. Good car golf. Can we talk about the air quality right now? Some would call it hazy. We got 141 here, very, very touchy shot on a very, very small green. Cannot give it to him right here. Gotta pull something off. Okay. It's gonna be a tough up and down. Gotta make it happen. 127, Steve's off the green. Putting one on here would be dialed. Catch a piece. I didn't see. Oh. Are you up? The back left and should be barely off or so. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Close call. We're getting some like nasty lies out here right now. Some of these chips out here, I mean, if you miss in the wrong spot, they're impossible to get close. No excuses though, gotta make a putt. It's really not bad. It's right in the range that he's been making all day. Good, good. Now <laughs> that would give you the win. Stupid. All right, why not dodge another bullet? Joe's got a miss. Started. My plan worked out. What plan? <laughs> to give you the tee back so I could take it away from you at the end. The only thing you took away from me was top dog status, baby. <laughs> You've been, I try to give it away, dude. You've been crowned. Red hot chili peppers over here. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> but I didn't. Oh my goodness, it feels great. Finally back on top where I belong. Steve's been kicking my butt for over a year now, and finally, I can say I got one on the young lad. I love you. Love you too, buddy. But you're no longer the top dog. <laughs> All right, guys, if you tuned in this long, like I said, we definitely appreciate you. Make sure you sub, make sure you like. And make sure you leave a comment, tell us what you thought about the video, tell us what you want to see, and make sure you tune in in the future. We got plenty of stuff coming your way. Today, definitely could have gone differently. Joe could have put me out of my misery way earlier, but for the channel, for you guys, he made the absolute worst call in golf. I don't really understand it. But like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Joe, congrats, brother. Top dog, baby. And as always, top of the morning.